Good evening. Tonight we're following the recent string of violence that has rocked an east side neighborhood. Two separate shootings this month alone, only a block apart, have left two dead and four others injured. We sent RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt into that neighborhood today, and he joins us live from police headquarters with what he found. Jack. Even in the light of the two shootings that left two people dead and four others injured, the residents who live in the three to 400 block of North Denny Avenue describe their neighborhood as quiet and the violence as out of the ordinary. In front of the home at 406 North Denny, a street side memorial to 19 year old Christopher Pippen. He died yesterday afternoon inside this home after police say he argued with another man over money. The second shooting victim survived the gunfight. It's sad, so we got to get it together one way or another. So I really don't know the people that, uh, that this happened to, but I wish the best for their family and they found out who did this, so we put an end to it. Only a block away, another street side memorial at the corner of New York and Denny. It's the site where four men shot it out May 10th after one man accused another of disrespecting a woman. One man died, three were injured, and one was arrested. So are you concerned? Are you frightened? Uh... No. God's with me, so I'm not frightened. Whether random or targeted, not everyone has taken the gunfire in stride. Melissa Clonch, a mother of three young children, remains unnerved by the recent shootings. It was quiet for the most part when I first moved in, but yeah, um, there's been several several incidents on the street in the past two months, so yeah, I'm ready to move. Give me your everything, baby, let me love so. Less than 24 hours after the shooting, calm has returned to the neighborhood. Residents sit on their porches and from that vantage point see the two recent shootings for what they are. It's pretty quiet block. Everybody owns their house pretty much. Everybody's quiet. And then this stuff like this is random. So okay. I don't think it was just like a random thing. I, you know, I mean, it was planned or whatever. In the wake of last night's shooting, Metro Police will meet with the prosecutor's office to determine what, if any, charges may be filed in this recent shooting. And police say it's possible that the shooting survivor may have acted in self-defense. Reporting live at police headquarters, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.